the man who said, if windows in heaven should be open, could this thing be so? He got to see it, but he didn't get to partake of it. There was a stampede, as it were, and they trampled the man, and he died right there. I'm telling you, God can do whatever he said he can do. And if God said breakthrough, then breakthrough it is. Positive response yes. to the prophetic word. Yes. Hallelujah. And in fact, the scripture tells us that chronicles that if we would believe the prophet, or if, if we would believe in the Lord, we would be established. If we believe his prophet, so shall we prosper. Yes. God goes on to tell us, and Amos said he wouldn't do anything except he first reveal it to the prophet. God has a mouthpiece in the lane. Yes. God has a word that he will send and all you and I need to do is receive it in faith yes. and obey. Yes. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, obey God. Obey God. Come on, say, he's talking to you right now. You really need to obey God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. We talk a lot about faith, and rightly so. The Bible declares that the just shall live by faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. And, and all of those things. And if we had the faith as of a grain of mustard seed and, and so forth. Let me tell you, faith is good, but there's sometimes you don't have faith. Yeah. But you at least need to be obedient. Yeah. Yeah. Obedience brings blessings. Yeah. Are you hearing today? Yeah. You can look through the scriptures and you can find that there's times when folk didn't necessarily have faith, but they had obedience. Yeah. And in their obedience, blessings came. In fact, Abraham. Oh, God. Did I start preaching on this? Yeah. In fact, Abraham. At first, when God spoke to him, he didn't believe. That's right. But he obeyed. Yes. Are you hearing? Yes. He obeyed. And, and, and then when he's taking Isaac to, to, to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, and the Lord uh, uh, catches his attention, shows him the ram in the thicket, the Lord said, well, surely I know. Uh -huh. I, I know that you'll do what I say do. Yes. Uh -huh. Set down in blessing, I'm going to bless you. Amen. In multiplying, I'm going to multiply. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. Yes. Sometimes, yeah, you may not have faith. Yes. But if you know what the word say, just obey yes. God's yes. word. Yes. Amen. 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 Glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. Okay. All right. I think we'll start preaching now. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. If you if you have your Bibles, I, I would like to uh, ask you to consider at least one verse with me. Thank you. Jesus. From the Gospel according to Saint Matthew, chapter twenty and two, and verse fourteen, or chapter twenty-two, verse fourteen. Now I'll be reading this from the King James Version, uh, Matthew. 22, 14. When you have it, say amen. Amen. I'll ask you now, if you would, to rest upon your feet for the reading of God's word. Nobody walking, nobody talking. Let us give the highest of honor and respect to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to pray. After I pray, we will make a faith confession together. After the faith confession, I will read the word of the Lord in your hearing. You can feel free thereafter to have your seat in his presence. Let's pray. Sovereign of all the ages, giver and sustainer of life. We come now acknowledging your lordship. Thanking you for allowing us this opportunity of celebration of this, your manservant, and God even blessing us to come to a time where we can focus our attention on your word. Now, if you'd be so gracious, dear God, I ask you now to send your word unchecked and unhindered by any force. 
Cause this word to be tailored for every life and every individual situation. I pray now that you'll hide me behind the cross. I now decrease that you, Lord Jesus, might increase. Holy Spirit. Have your way. Give me clarity of thought and clear articulation of speech. And in advance, we give you thanks and praise for all that shall be accomplished and for all that shall be revealed. We declare that your word shall not return unto your void, but it will accomplish what you've intended. This is our prayer we ask in Jesus' name. We thank you for it. We believe we receive it. Therefore, we declare these things are so. And all in agreement said amen, amen. and amen. amen. If you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask you to hold them up with me. So this is the word of God. This is the word of God. It is life, it is life to, me. to me. And because of God's faithfulness of God's faith, to, his word, to his word and my obedience, my obedience to him in faith, to him in faith I, now walk in love, I now walk in love and the blessings, and the blessings of, abundant life. of abundant life. Amen. While you're yet standing. From Matthew twenty two fourteen, it is recorded on this wise. For many are called, but few are chosen. Amen. I would like to use for thought the call. Would you say that with me? The call. The call. God pray for his presence. And the sent. The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen are chosen and uh, it's it's quite noteworthy um, how the scripture speaks to us there and it lets us know that everybody that's called basically is not everybody that's chosen amen uh, in fact in the preceding verses uh, the writer declares that there was a certain king and this certain king was making a, having a wedding for marriage for his son. And uh, he sent his servants out to get folk to come to the wedding. Now when I, I, I read through this, what, what was stirred in my mind is that the Lord, the God of eternity, had, had uh, uh, set up for a wedding of the Lamb. Oh, okay, 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 I gotta slow down. Seems like, seem like I lost somebody there. Okay. How many know that the body of Christ is considered the bride? The Lord Jesus is the bridegroom. All right, all right. So, so Jesus here talks in parables, and, and parables were designed to reveal truth to one and conceal truth from another. And so Jesus was talking and, and he's speaking to his disciples, but other people are around. And he, he gave this parable about this certain king and how this certain king had servants. And I sent them out because he was having this, this a marriage feast, this marriage dinner for his son. I, I believe that this is quite a picture of God Almighty preparing for the body of Christ and that great uh, a time when we will meet the Lord in the mid-air. Uh -huh. Amen. Culminate yeah. in praise unlike man yeah. would have ever known before. Yeah. Hey, glory yeah. to God. I believe that this talks about a time when our joy go to new levels. Yeah. It, it talks about a time that we've only dreamed about or imagined. It talks about a time we could not aptly describe. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So the word says, the word, the word, the word says that, that this, this, this king, he, he sent out his servants to bid folk to come because he had prepared everything already. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, the Lord doesn't have to do anything else. This is my submission. I submit that God has already done Amen. what he's going to do. Amen. I believe that the blessings of the Lord are waiting on you and I. Yeah. I believe all we got to do is meet the condition yeah. and the manifestation yeah. takes place. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And, and, and so, so his servants, they went out and, 
and, and, and they, they, they went and they, they got those that were bidding or called them and, and, and invited them to come to the, the marriage feast, as it were. But the Bible says that, that those servants, they, they didn't come. Uh-huh. That the servants went out. I, I really believe that this is the men and women of God that not only he has called, but he has also chosen. And because he chose them, he sent them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Many are called, but few are chosen. Well, the only one that can get chosen, amen, is the one that responds to the call. Hello, somebody. Amen. It doesn't matter how many applications you put in. The only one that can work is the one who responds to the application when they call for you or responds to the interviews. Come on here. And, and, and today, you and I must respond. The Lord is calling. Oh, I hear it in my spirit right now. God is calling somebody up higher. God's calling you to more. And then I'm telling you now, this is not the time to drag your feet. This is not the time to think about what is somebody else going to think. This is the time to say, yes, Lord, and surrender. Yes, thank you. It is so. Yes, Lord. It is so. And so he... He bids them to come, but the Bible says they would not come. It's, it's amazing. It's noteworthy uh, to say the least that, that God, the God of eternity, would work through mere men and women and, and give them a word of life to share among men and bid them to come to the Savior of the soul. Bid them to come to Mary little baby. Bid them to come to him who died for all of us, shed his blood out on Calvary's cross. While we were yet in sin, Jesus died for the ungodly. Amen. He would send his man and maid servants and folk would not come. I believe we see a picture of that in the scripture here. And so when those men came back, the Bible says that, that the Lord sent out some others of his servants. It's amazing that the preachers come preaching the same thing. Jesus. Hey man, it doesn't matter what house of worship you're in. You can be on the north side, the south side, the east side, the west side. It doesn't matter. You can be at the Baptist church, the Pentecostal church, the Apostolic church, the Independent church, the non-denominational, non-denominational, interdenominational, and they're preaching the same Jesus. So, so, so the Lord has sent out some others of his servant, but the word was the same, come to the marriage. Yes. Come, come to the feast, come, come to the dinner, for the Bible says all things are ready. Yes. Amen. Woo, Jesus. God doesn't have to do anything else because all things are already ready. You know, sometimes the devil, he defeats folk because when, when they hear that call to come, they feel like, well, I, I, I don't know if I can make it. I, I, I still got this habit. I still got this hang up. I, I still got this proclivity. I, I, I still got this issue. But I'm telling you today, all things are ready for you to overcome, for you to have success, for you to prevail and have your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It is so. Amen. It is so. But the Bible says they made light of it. Like, ah, got something else going on right now. It's not that important. I'm telling you today if there's anybody in the house that doesn't know Jesus as your personal Savior. Now is not the time to put it off any longer. All right. Amen. Amen. Oh, you, you see, and I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just speaking plain truth. Amen. 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 Tomorrow is not promised to us. Right. And I firmly believe that there's no one who leaves this side of heaven having heard the word of the Lord and God didn't prick their hearts to say it's time to come to me. Now, whether or not they come, that's their call. Yeah. But Amen. because it's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, he has to speak to them that they might repent. Yeah. Uh -huh. that's right. But the repentance is your part. Yeah. To get the message to you is his. Amen. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. You see, when, 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 when the Lord calls you, uh, uh, you are precious. Yeah. 
He doesn't have to call any of us. Amen. Didn't have to call us out of sin. Didn't have to call us to the various Amen. things that he's called us to. Amen. And I want to encourage you today, whatever God has called you to, be faithful. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right. Yes. It's amazing how many folk want to be the chief bottle maker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amen. You know, Amen. I, I, I might have shared this here, but you know, years ago I went to a church. We, we were invited to a church. We went there and praise God. Everybody in the church was a chief. Wasn't no Indians. <laughs> Amen. It was the, the, the pastor, the apostle, the chief apostle, the bishop, the archbishop, the bishop to the third power. I mean, come on already. I mean, where, the regular, where the regular people at? Amen. Amen. Everybody wanted these high fluting names and, and many times not even living up to the name they wear. Right. You see, but I, I found out that God will honor you when you are honor the call that he placed on your life. My God, if you see David, David was considered the least of his father's children, of Jesse's children as it were. And David was the youngest and, and David was supposed to be keeping sheep and he was keeping the sheep on the back of the mountain. He was out of sight and many times out of mind but he didn't minimize his assignment. He walked out his assignment faithfully and when the lion came against him, he slew the lion and when the bear came against him he slew the bear. I know whether anybody seen it or not, it wasn't even about that. It's about this is my assignment. I'm going to execute to the best of my ability. Look at somebody and say, come and sit. Respond to the call. No, 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 no. You, you can't even afford to get sent till you respond to the call. So David responded to the call and he was sent on the backside of the mountain. Sometimes we respond to the call and we're sent where we didn't think we were going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I thought when they hired me, they were going to give me this position. But no, they put me over there. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Hello, I came to the church I told them I'll minister so and so And then they had me working with the children uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Come on here somebody You know I know what I'm talking about Amen. Amen. But all you need to do is be faithful Right where you are You see because in the plan of God The way up is down Man got that whole thing twisted And they feel like if you want to be up You got to start up But the Bible says humble is the way If you humble yourself Then in due time I'll exalt you God says You got to understand that promotion comes from God Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It is so. Hallelujah. Thank you. Is, Thank you. He is so. And so, so David, David hearkened to his father's direction and, and he kept those uh, one, one, one of the brothers speaking to him when, when David just obeyed dad. Hello, somebody. Uh, you, you know, it's, it's something how sometimes we can get so stuck. Until we can't even be used by God. Amen. Right. Amen. That's true. Amen. 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 We feel like, you know, this is what I do. I don't do that. Yes, Lord. All right. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. So 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 David was keeping the sheep on the backside of the mountain. Yeah. But his brothers were in town. Uh-huh. And as it were, Jesse gets David's attention and says, hey, go check on your brothers. Mm. Now some of us would, you know, we'll bristle up. Like, they don't even like me. <laughs> Come on here. We put the long face on. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Get an attitude. Amen. All right, now. Amen. How many of y'all seen little children get attitude? Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh, about three of y'all. I think I only seen three hands. And then, they, then they were down like this right here. They, they ain't even raised me. Yes. Amen. I mean, for real, how many of y'all seen some get, little children with some little bad attitude? Yes. You say something they get the... Uh -huh. How many of y'all with them little children? <laughs> now, now, okay, you might lose that child, but you're supposed to lose that. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. The apostle Paul said, when I was a child, I spake as a child. He, he acted as a child. Said, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Listen, sometimes we bring in the kingdom that same childish behavior we had growing up, but it's time to lose it. Amen. 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 Yes, it is. 
you anyhow. It is so. Amen. Amen. It is so. Well, 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 David spoke to Jesse and said, you go check on your brothers. Amen. And I, I know even sometime on our job, if we aren't careful, we'll bristle up when they ask us to do something that's not part of our job description. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about you. Unless it's you. Amen. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Lord. Amen. We'll, we'll bristle up. And somehow we seem to miss that God is always in control. Somehow we seem to miss that God is watching over us. Sometimes we seem to miss that it's a setup for promotion. But if you don't pass the grade, you can't go on. Hello, somebody. You see, too often we mess around and we get locked on man as if all of our service is to man. And the Bible said not so. Bible said we're to do all as unto the Lord. So on the job, I I realize they don't really like me like that. But I ain't here about them liking me. Glory to God. I got a family to take care of. I got a responsibility of my own. And I'm doing all as unto the Lord. You see, because promotion comes from God. And it doesn't matter who wants to stand in your way. When God has called you and you responded rightly to the call, then he's going to send you further up the road. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. So David goes, he, he goes to check on his brothers, and, and when he goes and check on his brother, they, they ask him, like, who you left them little few sheep with? Like, what you wasn't doing, you know what you was doing, it wasn't nothing to begin with. <laughs> Come on here. Sometimes folk look at what you do, and they think you haven't done anything. Yes. And I just want to remind you today that the eyes of the Lord in every place yes. beholding yes. the evil and yes. the good yes. so you may be one that come up and, 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 and you just the Lord just place in your heart that you want to serve your pastor and, and you're always there what can I do pastor to help you now I don't know where all of your fellowship but it doesn't matter you're still supposed to serve amen, Hello, yes. amen. amen. And, and here you are you trying to walk it out and serve the best you know how. And there's somebody who's going to say you trying to be the pastor's pet. Yeah. Let them say what they want. Amen. 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 If your heart is really about honoring God and you do what you do because you know it's the right thing to do, you don't have to worry. Now, if by chance what you want is a pat on the back, once they patted you on the back, you all good because you done got your pay. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Yeah, there's some folk in the church now. I, I, I know this past anniversary and all, but there's some folk in the church. If you don't call their name, they'll soon stop doing what they Amen. doing. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. If you don't, if you don't hurry up and acknowledge them, all right. Amen. especially if they've been doing it for over a week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, here. y'all know I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, some folk want you pat them on the back, but 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 don't you know don't think hard on them. Hey man, but they just already got their reward. That's all I'm yeah. saying. You see, because one of the things you're seeing there is you're seeing their immaturity. Yeah. Uh huh. Amen. Because there are folk who really love Jesus, they're just immature. They don't know no better. Yeah. Amen. Just like a little child. When, as a little child come up, that's why y'all know how them little babies they come and they bring you that paper. They done scribbled up. Hey man, don't look like nothing. Amen. And you talking about, oh, baby, that's pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my baby. You just hug him and kiss him. What well, else folk in the church need that? Yeah. Amen. I mean, they just need. Yeah. You see, because in, in, the, in the house of the Lord, there's not only to be the nourishing, but there's also to be the nurturing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You can't just preach the word. You also got to show the love of the word. Yes. Are you hearing that? Yes. That helps folks to develop. Yes. Call and sent. Call and what? Sent. And sent. Let me tell you something. When the Lord sends you, he empowers you. All right. You, you, you can't really make it if he don't send you, if he doesn't Amen. empower you. You know, there's some folk, they wish they was the pastor. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah, yeah. They they, they second guess pastors' uh, decisions all the time. Like why they do that? Look like they should have done this. Look like we could have done it this way. Getting quiet in the room. I done stepped on some toes. Uh huh. If that was me, I'll probably never be you. 
Amen. 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 Till we can get our act together. Amen. Hello? Amen. Y'all all right in here? Amen. 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 You know, mom used to have a saying when we were growing up. She said, this may not be good to you, but it's good for you. Amen. Right? Yes. Amen. Amen. It's good for you. Yes. God will take us someplace, and it's someplace good. Yes. And our part is to trust him in everything. Yes. In everything. He's always in control. Amen. He's always watching out for your good. Jeremiah 29, 11 lets us know uh, 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 that he wants to bring us to an expected end. Yes. Yes. Come on, his yes. thoughts toward us is only good. Yes. Thoughts of peace, thoughts of yes. prosperity, thoughts yes. of growth, thoughts of increase concerning yes. us. The Bible said God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. God wants to prosper you to the overflow. Prosper you till you can't handle it all. Yes. Bless you that you have to be a Blessing. But obedience is the road that we must travel to get all that God has for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. yes Lord right. Jesus. You know, you know, sometimes we talk about Peter when he steps out of the boat and walks to Jesus. Yes. And we, we, we focus on the faith part. And, and, and granted, there's faith there. But I believe the other key part was obedience. Amen. The Lord said, come, and he came. Yes. Amen. Hello. Amen. The Lord said, come, and he Amen. came. Yes. And even though he fell down, God help me in here today. Because yes. there are some of us in here, we didn't get it right sometimes. Yes. Amen. Right. Right. And, and it's, not, it's not enough that we don't, that, that we know it. That's, that's bad by itself. But part of the problem is some other folk know it too. Yeah. Uh -huh. And sometimes the devil will use that against us yeah. to say, well, you can't go no more because they know what you did. Uh -huh. You remember they seen you over there? They heard you. Uh -huh. Amen. And the right. devil will try to stop you yeah. from moving forward in the things of God. Yeah. But when you know that you're called, when you yeah. know yeah. that you know that you yeah. know you yeah. know that uh -huh. God has called you, yeah. then it's time to get up and yeah. move anyway. I can't stay here and wallow in my mess. I got to give up and give him glory. I got to give up and give him praise. I got to get up and do what he told me to do. He may not have called you to pastor. He might have stirred you to usher. He may have stirred you to be in the choir. He may have stirred you to work in the Sunday school. He may have stirred you to take care of the ground. He may have stirred you to write the letters. He may have stirred you to carry on the social ministry. But whatever it is, you need to be doing it. Visiting the hospital. Standing by those who are sick and covering them. Reaching out to the poor on the street. Feeding them in the neighborhood. Yes, Lord. 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 Y
Amen. God can heal the pain. You know, uh, I heard somebody said divorce is one of the, the worst pains a person can have. Amen. That's, that's, what, that's what they said. Kind of the worst death one can even die, as it were. Because it, it's not one time it keeps showing up. Yes. <laughs> you see them over here and you see them over there. And sometimes other family members are right with them and they'll let them come around. Amen. Mm -hmm. that, that can mess you up sometime too. Uh -huh. But I'm telling you, God will see you through. Yes. God will see you through. Yes. Hello, somebody. Amen. I said, God will see you yes. through. Yes. God wants us to trust Him. Yes. God wants us to trust Him. Amen. We're getting ready to pray. I want to pray for you. Right where you are. You, you know, sometimes we... We want the preacher to come lay hands on us. And, and there's nothing wrong with that, that there's biblical support and precedence for the laying on of hands. There's also biblical support and either, even stronger endorsement for speaking a word. That's how God created. He spoke a word yeah. and it was so. Amen. Amen. Then he tells us to speak to the mountain. Doesn't tell us to touch it. Amen. It says speak to it. Yes. Amen. 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 Because there's power in our tongue. Yes. Yes. The Bible says death and life both are there. Yes. Amen. The Bible lets us know that a man's belly shall be filled with the fruit of his lips. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so you and I need to open our mouths sometime. We need to open our mouth by our own little situation. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes our children acting up, we ought to declare they they getting it together for the cause of Christ. Yeah. 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 Now it might seem like they, as soon as you start confessing it, then they turn up speed going the other way. Amen. But we're not moved by what we see, only by what we believe. Can you believe God in the midst of everything looking like it done falling apart and it's going the wrong way? The devil hears a lie. Bible says a deceiver. What is it to be deceived? It is to believe a lie and think it's the truth. Amen. And so he paints pictures that make it look like it's something else. Amen. When the reality is God has a blessing for you in that situation. Hmm. Glory to God. Are you all receiving this word to your life? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This breakthrough season. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I made up my mind. I'm going to obey God. Amen. Amen. Others can do whatever they want to do. That's the stairs. I can't, I can't handle that one. I got to deal with the mail in my own box. Hello, somebody. I'm going to obey God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You know, I, I just perceived the Holy Spirit's been leading some folk to, to be praying in the mornings and, and, and getting into that word. And some of you've done it and some of you have been a little slow on it. Uh -huh. But I want to encourage you to put some pep in your step. Amen. 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 The Lord knows what's before you. Amen. He's Amen. setting you up for where he's taking you to. Amen. 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 You know, I, I don't believe that Peter would have uh, uh, denied Christ like he did had he went on and prayed when he should have. Amen. 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 Hello. Amen. Amen. But somebody was going to deny him. Yes. Huh? The scripture had already said it. Yes. Amen. And, and the Lord knew it was coming. Yeah. So he told him, hey, before the cop crows, you're going to deny me. Right. Yes, Peter said, no, yes, no. Lord. But he ain't know he wasn't going to be praying. Right? Yes, right? Yes. Lord talked to him before it all happened. Right. Right. And, and he speaks to us. Yes. And we ought to be praying. He's calling us to prayer and, and calling us to his word now. Because he knows what's up the road. Yeah. And sometimes we'll get scared and act out the wrong way. But God wants us to stand for him while he stands for us. Yes. 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 Amen. It is so. It is so. If you would just rest upon your feet with me. My God, my God. Called and sent. Called and sent. Amen. You've been called. You've been called and called. You've been called by the great I am. You've been called by the sovereign of the ages. You've been called by the mighty God. Let's respond favorably to his call. Right now, I just want you to get in your minds what you need God to do for you. I'm going to agree with you by faith for those things are manifest. 
Somebody today, your, your breakthrough may need to be obeying God. You hear him all right. But you just have trouble obeying. Somebody else, there's, there's a different need for. Somebody just need healing. Our God is able. Yes. Glory to God. Before the Lord with me. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you now for this, your precious people, one by one and name by name. God, I thank you for your word. Yes. Informs all oh God. We want to be chosen. We want to be the ones that you will empower and entrust and send forth in your name. Send forth with your endorsement of the Holy Spirit. Send forth in your power and in your might. Send forth as a conduit that you will work through to accomplish your own purpose. And so now you know their heart's desire one by one and name by name, situation by situation. Faith, that spirit of breakthrough in their lives in Jesus' mind. Even though it's been a long time, I thank you now that they are closer than they've ever been. I thank you that they'll not give up. They're going to look up, rise up, and go up. And you, Father God, will be glorified the more through their life. Thank you, God, for those that you will bring into the kingdom. Because these were not only called, but they will be sent, God. And they will allow their mouth to be a mouthpiece for you. That you will speak unto lost folk. That they come to be found and walk in the glorious light of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. We give you glory for it now. God, I speak comfort toward the child and the children. Somebody's concerned about a child right now, God. And and Lord God, you know what that situation is. And so I speak your favor over that matter now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm seeing a car. A car. I don't know what it is about the car. The car door is open. It's like a SUV. It's a dark color. I don't, I don't know what it is to it. Amen. But... But God knows. I want to encourage you to rest in the Lord. Amen. Rest in the Lord. Just go ahead and give him praise in advance. For the Bible says, we know all things work together for good to them that love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Yes. Sometimes it looks worse before it looks better. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I had a situation years ago where uh, we wanted to get another vehicle. And... Uh, uh, it, it wasn't a bad vehicle, but we wanted another one. It was kind of, you know, wearing a little bit. And my wife and my children, they were on the road. And uh, they had just filled up the tank. It was a customized van, laid out very, very nice. Had a CB, CD, television, Nintendo, lighted ladder rack, solar panel on top of it to charge the battery, vacuum cleaner, first aid kit. I mean, it had everything. No, I kid you not. Lights all around it, nice spoiler package. It was just a nice vehicle. And they're coming back uh, just past Albany, and uh, there is February, and it gets real hot in the van. They turn the heat off. They're on their way back to Rochester, and uh, oh, you all can take your seat. And, and uh, while they're coming, they turn the heat off, but it's still getting hot in the van. And so my baby girl was driving, and she pulls over off the road, and uh, somebody gets out, and they say, fire's dropping down. Well, that doesn't sound right. One of the children, you know, they got out and said, fire dropping down. Well, that don't sound right, because fire rises up. Right. Well, they got out, and yes, fire's dripping down. And they say, everybody out of the van, everybody out of the van. They had just filled up the tank. They had a 33-gallon tank on that vehicle. They got out and, and uh, it's winter time and they were hot in there so a lot of them, their coats was off, shoes was off, like 11 people in the van. Little babies was in there and all. So they start throwing things out the van, trying to hurry up and get whatever they could out. And no sooner they got out, the thing just, just burst up in flames. They're on the side of 87. The van lit up. My wife called me. She said, honey, I just come from church. I was still in the city. Uh, I just came from a service. She said, honey, the van's on fire. I said, is everybody out? She started hollering, hey, 
you know, I could hear on the phone and hey, and there was a lot of commotion going on and, and, and the word came back that everybody was out. I said, okay, it'll be all right then. And so uh, she said, no, it's burning. I said, yeah, but it'll be all right. No, it's really burning. Oh, okay, it'll be all right, honey. Yeah, everybody's out. You know, I felt like, you know, vehicles can be repaired or replaced, but it's not so easy with lives. And so we, we hung up and, uh, uh, you know, as soon as we hung up, I was at the foot of my bed. I started shouting, praising God. Why? Well, for one, because my family was well, the word of the Lord was stirred up in me to yeah. remind me, Bible say, and we know, not that we got a figure, right. not that we hope, Bible say, and we know all yeah. things yeah. work together for good. To yeah. them that love God and to those who are called according yeah. to his purpose. Yeah. I began to do a little dance at the foot of my bed. A little while later, she called me back. She said, honey, it's burning. And, and, and they, these kids out here, they don't have no coats. Some of them don't have shoes on. I said, well, is, can you get to one of the firefighters? I should have known better now. I'm a retired firefighter myself. I know you ain't going to bother us when we're in the, the zone. You understand? We're we making it happen. So, so I said, is there a police officer? She said, yeah. So she went and got a police I said, let me talk to him. When he got a police officer, I talked to him. I said, excuse me, sir, officer, uh, my family, you know, there, there, there's some of my, my grandbabies out there, and uh, some of them don't have shoes or coats, anything on. Can you get them someplace warm? Wherever it is, I'll take care of them when I get there. He said, yeah, there's a hotel across the road. I said, okay, could you take them there? He said, sure. So he took them there, got my brother-in-law and I. We went on. Well, when I we end up, long story short, Short, went back home. Now we have a vehicle. Right. I was just shouting, praising God. Amen. <laughs> but now I gotta walk to work, or catch a ride, some kind of way—a bus, a friend, a cab, a bicycle, something. Amen. Amen. Cause I gotta get to work. You understand? Amen. And uh, so, so I, I, I'm, I'm, we go through looking through the blue book, and the blue book says that it will pay six thousand on the low side or nine thousand on the high side and so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking oh man I need more money than this that's, that's not enough let me tell you something God knows how to do it long story short when the whole thing settled they gave us over seventeen thousand dollars for our fans are you hearing the high side was nine thousand they gave us over seventeen thousand dollars for that thing. God has a way of blessing, yeah. and you gotta know that even though it looked bad, it's not bad because it's working out for my good. You need to be reminded of First Thessalonians five eighteen that says it. All